Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, a very quick video, I'm just going to be going over my minimalist, vegan, cruelty-free, low-waste skin routine. Um, full disclosure, my skin is not perfect at all. I am right now wearing a little bit of tinted moisturizer just to even things out because I just got out of the shower and my face is always really red afterwards, so it has helped with other blemishes on my face so I'm not going to say that my skin is absolutely perfect but I'm more going to be focusing on the minimalist vegan aspect of this you know what I mean so the cleanser that I use right now is this one Alba Botanica Hydration Sensation Micellar Water it is foamy and that's what I care about this is a recyclable bottle and it is vegan and cruelty free. I use very gentle products on my face as you'll see. Um, they work better with the medications that I'm on and if I ever do want anything just a little bit more intensive then I will use this same product but I will put it on one of those spinny brushes, you know, those, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> this is morning and night by the way. So the next product is Skin Drink by Lush. This is the best moisturizer I have ever used. Again, recyclable, cruelty free, all good stuff, vegan, it's got the little V on it, and uh, I know at Lush you can like uh, bring these back to them and they do whatever they do with them. <laughs> anyway, and I I've talked about this in other videos, I don't know if I've talked about them on this channel yet, but um, on Graveyard Vomit definitely, that I've been on Accutane for a long time and that dries you out so much, so if you're looking for something that A, pairs well with Accutane or B, you just have really, really dry skin in general. Skin drink is definitely a good thing to go for, but be warned, it is not cheap. This tiny, tiny little thing, I think it was like $25, um, which I didn't know that because I bought this the first time I ever like went into a Lush to purchase something. I was, I was very shocked. And if it is daytime, and I am going outside because I don't always go outside, sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important. This one is also by Alba Botanica, so it's got the same, you know, no animal testing, all the g good things, recyclable, etc, etc, vegetarian, blah 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 blah. This one is the Pure Lavender SPF 45 Broad Spectrum Soothing Sunscreen, so it's like the more sensitive skin version of it. They've got like five or so sunscreens. Oh god. And I've had this for several years now. I don't use a whole lot of it. I just generally I put it on my ears, the back of my neck, my cheeks, my nose, like um, the parts of my face that are like angled up to the sun basically. And then uh, depending on what clothes I'm wearing I might put a little bit on my shoulders or my forearms or something. But yeah I am pretty sparing with it but I don't ever get sunburn. So plus it's not like one of those sunscreens that leaves you like sticky or greasy afterwards which is very important to me because that is a disgusting feeling and it put me off wearing sunscreen on a daily basis for a really long time and I don't recommend that obviously I think everybody should wear sunscreen every single day. So that is me on a daily basis. Uh, I obviously also wear chapstick. I didn't include a particular brand of chapstick. I have like eight different kinds. I stash one everywhere. If you know me, there's one on my backpack, there's one on my gym bag, there's one on my car, there's one on my desk. And they're all different. Um, I haven't found which one is necessarily the best for me yet. Yeah, that is my skincare routine. If I'm feeling extra fancy or I want to do a little bit of exfoliating, maybe a lip scrub, maybe a face mask. Face mask, I generally make those on my own. So I, for like a face mask, I might use like turmeric. Uh, water or turmeric and coconut oil depending on the condition of my skin and that helps with inflammation and redness and for like a scrub just some sugar and coconut oil like I just keep it very simple I'm actually planning on putting up a video later about like DIY uh, lower waist homemade minimalist uh, facials and lip scrubs and face scrubs and that will be out uh, I think in the next month but yeah I keep it as basic as humanly possible for me because for a long time I paid very little attention to my skin in general and I find that having a lot of steps to do is just 
too overwhelming for me and then I'm more likely to just not do any of them. So if I keep it very, very simple, like this is just three things, like just three steps and at night it's only two steps, like I can keep up with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. I don't know, this was a requested video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will try my best to answer them and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out the links in the description and support my Patreon if you can. And of course, like and subscribe. New videos every Tuesday and I will see you guys next time. Bye.